Hello, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen at the office. I'm so excited to be videoing here today and we're still working on getting some kinks out. So you just bear with us because we have lighting coming in, but we're just tickled to be here. Saturday is National Pup Day. And y'all all know Scout. And today I'm going to make him some puppy treats, pumpkin pup treats. And they're easy, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. We're gonna start with a fourth cup of pumpkin. And this is the pumpkin like Miss Annie uses for her famous pumpkin bread. To that, we're gonna add one egg, and we're going to add two tablespoons of peanut butter. I'm using Jif. You can use your special kind, but I'm gonna get the best for Scout. Okay. You know, I've learned, Miss Annie and I were talking, this is just like stocking two kitchens because we gotta have everything here. So we'll see all along what we need to add. And then the last thing that we're gonna put in this is a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. Now I'm just going to whisk this together. Don't have a whisk. So I'm having to use my spatula, but that's okay. We're gonna get it together. I'm gonna to put that on my list and I'll have one next week here. All right. Now to that, we're just gonna add one and one fourth cups of all purpose flour. And I'm gonna put about half of it and mix it. And then the measurement for the water was a fourth of a cup. And I put it in here, so I'm just gonna pour a little of it. And then I'll add the rest of the flour. This is like making cookies, really. But it's gonna be healthy and he's gonna think he's special, which he is. Just a little bit of the water in case we don't need it. Okay. Angela had a special cookie cutter and I'm gonna be using it. But there, I didn't need any more of that water. It said to use a little bit at a time. Okay. Now, I need a little bit more flour. Let me get it. And I'm gonna put the flour on my little pastry uh, sheet. And, and I can't remember who sent me this. One of you did and I absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna put a little flour here. Then I'm gonna put this here. I don't think I'm gonna taste this, although it's everything that's human consumption. You know, you can eat it, but it may be good. Miss Annie may wanna try this because of her love for pumpkin. Now I'm going to just put a little bit of this. Today's the first day that we're using our new range. I preheated the oven to uh, 350 degrees. I don't even think I have to use my rolling pin. I thought I would, but I don't think I do. All right. I'm gonna go and wash my hands. I'll be right back. So 
Angela has her little doggy bone cookie cutter, and I have lined a cookie sheet <clears throat> with parchment paper for easy cleanup. And I hope, mmm, may have to let's see if that's gonna. Let me redo that. Life, this is the way we got to learn. I put a uh, flower down. But I've got to make sure that it's gonna come up. I think y'all saw me do this once with something else I was making. And you all sent me a message telling me what I should do and it worked. But I guess I just need more flour. This is so soft. Scout had some dental work done this week, so he needs soft cookies. He didn't have to have any work done. He just had to have his teeth clean. Okay. I think we're gonna do them about that thick. Yeah, they're gonna come up now. Not gonna go back and wash my hands. I'm gonna do this. All right. Okay, yeah. And by this being all purpose flour, it's not gonna rise, so it'll stay about that um, thick. Scout's not gonna know if that's a bone shape or not, but I'm gonna make sure that's gonna come off. Let me know. Y'all comment and tell me if y'all have a, a puppy. Because if you do, you know how we love them and we'll treat them like a part of our family. Some of you may have cats. You can let me know that too. Okay. All right. We're just going to put that in there for right now and I'll make some more later, but I'll let you know how long this cooked, but it is a pre it's preheated to 350 and I think it's 20 minutes, but I'll let you know when I come back. Okay, the dog treats cooked for 17 minutes. The recipe said 20, but I looked and they're good. They're a little warm. I put this one in the refrigerator because I went next door there is a state farm agency next door. Okay, and Charlie is part of their business. So come around here, Charlie. Come here, come here. Okay, this is a treat, sit. Good dog. He got the whole thing. <laughs> is that good? Saturday is doggy day. Uh-oh, he wants another one. Is it good? Yes, it's good. Okay. okay, Charlie, we'll give you another one. But we just wanted to show you what you can do for your dog for National Dog Day. And Charlie, we're glad you're a new, uh, we're so glad that you're a good neighbor. This one's a little warm still. Do you want one more? I'm gonna give you just half. I'm scared to give you too much. Okay, so happy that y'all joined me. Remember to be salt and light wherever you go, and I'll be back soon.